896, the Planetarium in London. Hello, I'm Andy, and I play drums. I'm Franny, I play the keyboards. Jamie and I know everyone. We're all in space. We've come down to the London Planetarium, and we're all going to have a little mooch around. If you would like to see the 3 o'clock show in the Planetarium, please make your way up the stairs behind me. It looks very... Very spacey, very planety. Lots of stars around. The whole universe, a cosmic spider's web. I am now looking at two rather handsome men in spacesuits, Neil Armstrong and uh, uh, Aldrin, whoever they are. All I can say about this is it's advisable not to fart in a spacesuit. Photographing the planets on our first reconnaissance of the local neighborhood. <laughs> Neighbourhood, our last single, was about a little place where me and Jamie lived when we were kids and that. And it's like from a, like a, a childhood point of view. Like your kids' imagination used to be like all strange people like there. Like there was a woman who dressed in black. And we thought she was like a, a, a witch or something like that. And there was like this big hat and we really thought he was like a, a murderer and things like that. to go around like throwing bricks through his window and things like that and putting dog poo through his letterbox. That's just like how horrible kids are. The rings of Saturn. New marvels in the darkness of space. Just looking at Saturn. Um, atmosphere, mostly hydrogen with some helium. <laughs> Makes for a high-pitched voice. Just get, get off your head just by breathing in. Awesome. Isaac Newton developed the laws of mathematics and gravitation. I'm now looking at a, a waxwork dummy of Sir Isaac Newton, and I really fancy his shoes, so I think I'm going to swap them with my pair of samba now. Do you reckon anyone will notice? <laughs> the I wrote the words to female of the species, and that's basically... Uh, I read that for my dad. He died like over a year and a half ago, and he always hated the music I've ever done. He always said, that's rubbish, that lad. Why don't you write some decent tunes and that? So uh, when he died, I've always wanted to write a song that he liked. So uh, that song is a one-off in that style of music, like sort of a bit back at a Sinatra feel. I always wanted to write it for my dad. That's uh, totally about Pussy Galore from James Bond film. That's all that the song is about, is about copping off a bear. We know more today than any who have gone before. We're looking at a uh, waxwork of Dr. Patrick Moore, uh, astronomer, and he's very tall. I mean, actually, like Jamie, our guitarist, used to have a crush on him when he was a kid. Still have. Yeah. Still have. Still have. I tell you what, lad, my half fella met him once at a service station, and it's supposed to be a right hand git. One of the universe's greatest secrets black holes, which swallow up everything within their reach. Help! Help! Oh no, I guess he's stuck down a black hole. We're going, going, going. Help, Patrick Moore, give me your hand. Daddy. Could this be a black hole? Tommy's log, star date 96, checking out of the planetarium in London. It's been lovely. Oh,